course. Yeah, that's terrible. Okay, let me get back to you. Hey, Stanley, one of my clients just called and said that their saber printer started smoking and caught on fire. My doctor told me to cut out hot dogs. We all got problems. Hey, Gabe, I need to talk to you about something. It's really important. There's no way that you guys have any almond butter, right? Yeah, I don't know. Look, one of my clients called. He was in the middle of a big printing job, and the back of the printer started smoking, and then the paper tray caught on fire. That's weird. I haven't heard of that happening. I would even settle for apricot preserves. What are we going to do about this? I don't know. Call HQ, see if they know anything. Yeah, that's what I'll do today. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Let me know what they say. Wow, that dude is good. What do you mean? You didn't feel like he was hiding something? I don't know. Like he was covering something up? Maybe. Two years ago, Andy blamed the warehouse for a late shipment that he forgot to process. We got yelled at pretty bad. Almost lost my job. Man, I was mad as hell at the time. But I said, Daryl, just wait. He's a fool. There's going to be an opportunity. Just be patient. What's up? I got your email. Close the door. OK. I don't have a plan, exactly. More of a loose structure. Gives me freedom to improvise. It's like jazz. And it don't mess with me. I figured something out. Some freaky stuff going on. I was walking by Gabe and I heard some things. Such as? It was kind of mumbled. I don't know. Uh, only thing I can make out clearly was Andy, problem, eliminate something. I don't know what it meant. What? You don't know what it meant? How about Andy is a problem and we must eliminate him? Oh, I hadn't even thought of that. <laughs> yeah. Ha. <sighs> Look, I'm not down anymore, so the guys start making fun of you, you just, you gotta stand up for yourself. I oh, know, just don't scare I got the text. Them. It said 911. Glenn, could you excuse us? It's bad. What's bad? It's real bad. Still no plan. Oh, God. It's getting bigger. I might have to go public here, but no one's gonna believe me. Uh. I need proof. I need, like, a printer to catch on fire. I can videotape Yeah. There it is. There what is? What? We're printing on 24-pound premium stock paper, approximately 300 sheets in. So far, no signs of distress. You haven't even introduced yourself. Right. My name is Andrew Baines Bernard, and if you're watching this, it's because I've turned state's witness because I'm in danger, because I know too much. You should talk in a higher voice, because the camera makes you sound weird. Higher? OK. Recently, certain events have come to my attention. Higher. They make it higher? OK. Mm -hmm. I have come to the conclusion that the Sabre Corporation may, yeah. may be overlooking certain safety regulations at the danger. It's smoking. It's but I knew it. This. We are blowing the roof off. Blowing the roof off. Nice, nice. This is my partner, Daryl Philbin. He's been my partner through this entire thing. I don't want to prank anymore. Things get real. It's not funny. I'm just going to be good, stay in my room, go to church, try to do one nice thing per day. I do not want to prank any more. You're having a party at Gabe's apartment. Mm -hmm. I'd love it if you were there. You would? You and Michael are always alive at the party. Try and keep me from coming. Oh, why would I keep you from coming? <laughs> Try and hide it. I will track this party down. <laughs> why would I hide it? <laughs> hey, Marantz tube stereo from the 1970s. I respect that. I respect that a lot. Oh, the five Chinese virility herbs. No kidding. This is powdered seahorse. They say that 15 Chinese soldiers fought off the entire army of Genghis Khan just using this stuff. You know what they say? No, what? What is this? Samurai woodcuts. Yep. Pretty erotic. Hmm. Yeah. Take a shot. Oh, thanks. 
Man, so much Asian stuff. I wonder if there's a guy in China right now looking at a bunch of our stuff. <laughs> Why does Aaron like Gabe? Andy, look. I don't know. If I was a girl and I had to choose between a, a tall dude who loved Asia and a you looking dude who loved sweaters and wearing sweaters. I choose you. That's really nice. Thank you. And I'll blow your mind. Hey, Andy. Hey, Daryl. You gotta stop texting me so much. <laughs> but I wanted you to know that Michael and I are wearing the same tie today. It's insane. You need to change your standard for what's worthy of a text. Ask yourself, is this something Daryl needs to know? The answer is almost always no. Got it. Then I will call you. No. There was a time when the only people who texted you were people you wanted to text you. Girls. And they'd all say the same thing. I'm coming over, baby. And I would text back, B-T-B, -B, bring that booty. Did you know that in China, there are 56 cities with over a million people? You know how many we have here? Nine. <gasps> Actually, that's not true. I know the figure you're referring to, and it's a projection of 15 years from now. Thank God. No, no, that is right now. Michael, China is agrarian. Urbanizing fast, you betcha. But still agrarian. Most in terms of land, not population. Come on, Michael. No, <laughs> no, you're wrong about this. Where are you getting this information? I got it from NewYorkTimes.com. Uh-oh, getting nervous, Oscar. OK, someone look it up. I'm on it, Jim. I'm on it. Guys, it's not worth it, really. Guys, this is not worth our time. Are you watching this? Seriously? Well, are you? I'm sitting right here. Got it. China has 56 cities with a population of over 1 million. The U.S. has nine. Suck it, Oscar. Well, on the plus side, all this worrying about China has made you smarter than Oscar, Michael. Great. I was wrong. I'm wrong. Is everyone happy? Well, <laughs> <laughs> Megan Fox, question mark. What's that mean? Megan Fox, come on. You know what? You one bad text away from getting blocked. Yes, but one good text away from a high five. You accept these terms? Oh, it's on. Come to parking lot. Crazy pigeon action. Shh. You're gonna scare him away. <laughs> That's a text. Yeah, right? <laughs> That's your new standard. Morning. Hey guys, a uh, fun thing. The index cards on your desk are resolution cards. You write your New Year's resolution on them, I'll collect them, and then display the cards on -da 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 -da! this resolution board. Wow, did your baby draw that? Hey Dwight, I'm collecting resolution cards. Not doing that. Why not? I've achieved plenty and there's no better than the best. Drink less caffeine. That's a good one, Pam. Here's mine. Learn to cook for one. Yeah, I love cooking, but I always find myself throwing out half the food I prepare, so figured it's time to just start preparing the right amount of food for the right number of people, which is one. Well, maybe you'll meet someone. No, some people just don't meet someone. I'm fine with it, really. This is not a pity party. It's not a party at all, it's just sad. Angela? Yes. Make time for romance. Who's the senator? My boyfriend. Oh, you mean the state senator? I'm sorry, I was confused because you accidentally wrote the senator. Oh. Wait, 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 it's that easy? That's not a resolution, that's just something I want to do. Okay, fine, I can do that. Ba, 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 ba. My resolution is meet a loose woman. Oh. That's a good one. Yeah? You know what, that's my new one. I'm taking that one too. Awesome. You know what you guys should do? Go to the bookstore at lunch. There's tons of cuties and it's easy to talk to them. Hey, what book is that? Cool, let's hang out tonight. Sex already? Whoa. The bookstore? Is that easy? I'll come with you and show you how it's done. Okay, I'll drive. My resolution is to read more. And if someone else is driving me to the bookstore, I can eat my PB&J in the car. 2011 is coming up all Daryl. 
All right, we should divide up by section. I will take romance and travel. I'll take the entirety of the second floor. I got that cutie behind the counter. Well, if you read a lot, you should check out our e-readers. They're really neat. Oh, I work at a paper company. Those things terrify me. They could put us out of business, you know. Heard those machines hold like 10 books at once. Actually, it's 10,000. Holy shit. what? Let me see it. So light, like a croissant. Hi. Hi. Welcome. Let us know if you need anything. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Why did we pretend like we work here? Is that what we were doing? I don't know. Hey, how'd you do? Good. Good, real good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We kind of nailed it. Yeah, pretty much. But, you know, this place is kind of tapped out, so let's roll. Cool. OK. What'd you get? A book about oceans. Oh, really? Yeah. What else? Let me see. No, no, it's uh, porn. Pornography. Old lady. Nasty porn. Oh. Whoa. Hold on. I am this. not going back until I fulfill my resolution. Oh, no, no, no. Uh-uh. Come on, why not? I've never been in one before. I'm tired of being Mr. Perfect Role Model all the time. I'm telling you, don't do it. I got nothing against strip clubs, but I do have something against them at noon on a Monday. The day shift at a strip club? You can't unsee that. Well, we can't just go back. I mean, we came out to meet women. Hey, there's a roller rink across the street. There's all these chicks at the rink. What kind of chicks are you gonna meet there? I don't know, single moms at a skating party? Sweet 16, 10-year reunion parties. Chicks fall down, need help getting back up. Roller derby practice. Ah. <laughs> We're going skating. Um, Dave Matthews Band. No hits, deep tracks only. Okay. I said no hits. <laughs> What's up? Hey, where did you go? To the arcade. Oh, cool. Why, did you meet someone? Yeah, I did actually. Yeah. His name is Andy. And he roller skates like a Greek god. And you know what? I kind of like hanging out with him. <laughs> right on, son. Gentlemen. <clears throat> and where did you go? <clears throat> strip club. I was looking at the strippers at the strip club. Right. So that's it, guys? If you want, I can put on the stroke. <laughs> 